Hi everyone, Nana here, host of the Baseball Broadcast. Welcome to the second in a series of occasional explainer videos on this channel, breaking down the basics of baseball statistics and other topics too, hopefully in the future. I've never been a numbers person and keeping stats straight is one of the most challenging things about following baseball to me, so I hope this and future videos help you build up your knowledge of the game. Today's topic is the basics of pitcher stats. ERA, WHIP, and FIP. For evaluating pitchers in this day and age, these are three really solid stats to know. Before we get into it, let's quickly discuss what a pitcher's job is and how we measure it. This seems basic, but bear with me because it's relevant to how we discuss the stats ahead. A pitcher's main job is run prevention. However, unlike in the case of the batter, there's more to keeping the other team from scoring than just pitching well. Run prevention is a collaboration between a pitcher and the fielders on his team. A great pitcher may be seriously dinged by bad defense, and a bad pitcher can look more reasonable if the fielding behind him is sharp. So if we're seeking to truly evaluate just the pitcher's pitching ability, we need stats that isolate just his contributions and eliminate what is the fault of the fielders as much as we can. Some stats do that better than others. So that being said, let's get into ERA, the most commonly cited pitcher stat. ERA, or Earned Run Average, measures earned runs. Earned runs are defined as the number of runs charged to a pitcher that did not score off of an error by the defense. Here's a scale. Poor, 4.30 and above, not .430, 4.30. Average, 3.75, and excellent would be 2.5. ERA is basic and flawed because of how earned runs are determined. In many cases, runs charged to the pitcher are often actually the result of the defense because of the inconsistent way that errors are assigned by official scorers and the specific definition of what is and isn't an error. ERA only strips out what is judged to be an error by the defense. Yet, for example, a fielder might trip before making a routine fly ball catch, and that isn't considered an error. But ERA would still count any scored runs from this play as the pitcher's fault, so you can see the issue. FIP, or Field Independent Pitching, is one of these stats that better answers the question of how many runs a pitcher gave up that were his fault. It only factors in the events a pitcher has the most control over. Strikeouts, unintentional walks, hit by pitches, and home runs. It entirely removes the results of balls hit into the field of play instead of just removing runs scored on errors. You read it like ERA so the scale is the same, and there it is right there. Think of FIP as a more accurate ERA. Comparing ERA and FIP can be a useful way to see how much defense has hurt a pitcher's performance. Let's look at a hypothetical example and remember, higher equals worse. If pitcher X has a 3.56 ERA and a 3.97 FIP, we can see he is helped by defense. His FIP, aka the more accurate stat, is less flattering than his ERA. But if it's vice versa, pitcher Z's ERA is higher than his FIP, we can conclude that he's better at pitching than his ERA indicates. Lastly, let's move on to WHIP, or walks plus hits per innings pitched, which goes beyond runs and measures how many base runners a pitcher allows per inning. Obviously, the goal of the pitcher is to prevent as many base runners as he can, so the lower the better. WHIP is a stat that is calculated by dividing walks plus hits by innings. Here's the scale. Poor, 1.50 and above. Average, 1.3. And excellent, 1. However, keep in mind that WHIP does not differentiate the way in which a hitter reaches base. He either does or does not in that calculation, but we know that a walk is much less harmful than a home run. WHIP also doesn't count hits by pitch, errors, and fielder's choice against a pitcher. Let's look at an example performance from last season to illustrate what these look like put together, using the terrific Corbin Burns of the Milwaukee Brewers, who won the Cy Young after putting up a terrific season in 2021. He ranked at the top of nearly all pitcher stats for the season. Here are Corbin's numbers for the season and where he ranked. ERA, 2.43, that's number one. FIP, 1.63, also number one. And WHIP, 0.94, so we can conclude the following from these numbers. Well, number one, Corbin Burns is a very good pitcher. Number two, 
His ERA is higher than his whip, even though both qualify as excellent, so we can see the Brewers' defense didn't do him any favors this past season, and he allows less than one base runner per inning on average, which is pretty darn good. So there you have it, ERA, whip, and FIP. Three great stats to know when it comes to evaluating pitchers. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Your regularly scheduled baseball broadcast news roundup is coming later this weekend, so make sure you subscribe so you can get that in your inbox along with any other handy baseball explainers coming in the future. And if you have any requests or suggestions for future explainers, please do leave those in the comments. I'd love to make some stuff uh, from your requests. So thanks for watching again and see you next time.